Hey friends, so hands down, my favorite do-it-all synth of all time is definitely Ableton Suite. If you can wrap your head around the fact that operator, sampler, wavetable, and so on are not meant to be complete synths by themselves, but rather building blocks to larger instruments, the entire world opens up to you. There are, however, many synth plugins that have a go at trying to be a one-stop shop for A to Z sound design. Plugins like Omnisphere, Serum, Vital, Phase Plant, Massive, Reactor, and so on, they all do the dance where they combine the elements that make a complete sound into just one platform or plugin. They contain not just the oscillators, filters, and modulators that make up a standard synthesizer, but they also contain samplers and multi-effects, and occasionally even note generation capabilities like built-in sequencers. All of these plugins are amazing, period. All of them can do incredible things, and due to my insatiable guess, I have deep experience with all of them. But, if I had to choose a single external do-it-all synth plugin, it would have to be Arturia Pigments. I've been having a secret love affair with this amazing synthesizer ever since it first came out. I believe that Pigments is the single best sound design platform, as a plugin anyway, ever created, and in this video, I'm going to explain why. So due to the fact that all of these do-it-all synths to a greater or lesser degree can create virtually any sound imaginable, it becomes much less of a question of can it do X or can it sound like Y, and way more of a question of how does it do X and how does it sound like Y. It's now a question of workflow, of user interface design and layout, quick and logical access to the controls you need when inspiration strikes. So let's get into reason number one, and that's the user interface. There are so many things that I could say about the care and logic that the Arteria folks put into Pigment's UI. Now first, in Ableton, while you can fold out Wavetable's UI, for the most part, Ableton devices are stuck in the lower third of the screen. And while this is an efficient design for musicians on the go with laptops, to many this is a bit annoying and limiting, especially when working with multiple devices and automations. Pigment's UI is self-contained in a resizable plugin window. But most all of these plugin synths do feature resizing. The real genius lies in the deeply well thought out UI itself. In Pigments, your synth parameters, like your oscillators and filters, live on one page. Your multi-effects live on another page, and your sequencer and your arpeggiator pigments live on their own page. The modulators, however, which can affect anything on any of these pages, are along the bottom, and they remain there no matter what page you're on. Well, yeah, each one of the modulator sections, like LFOs and envelopes and so on, have their own pages. They all provide instant visual feedback no matter what part of the UI you're looking at so you can clearly see what parameters are being modulated. This, in my opinion, is a technological achievement of insane proportions. If you're a seasoned sound designer coming to this platform, it's like taking a quantum leap in efficiency. Or, if you're learning or you're just new to synthesis, it makes the entire process much easier to learn when you can see all the interdependencies of the sound clearly laid out in front of you. And that brings me to my next point. Like I said, Pigment's UI layout is super logical and accessible, so you can see what is doing what to what. So that's great, but Arturia took it a step further and implemented something so smart and so impressive, it still floors me when I see it. You can interact with this little light bulb at the top of the UI, and it brings up a view where the creator of the preset leaves notes or comments about the preset that they made. Sweet! But what's even crazier is that the preset designer can label, in yellow, specific parameter ranges that they thought were interesting and tweak-worthy. This is called the Sound Design Tips feature. When I saw this, I knew I had stumbled upon something truly unique, and I realized I could use this tool to create an amazing visual, hands-on learning experience for synthesis that's never before been possible until now. So, I'm happy to say that I'm creating a Pigments Synthesis Online course that will make full use of these sound design tips and all the presets that the course is going to come with. So you'll get those specialized presets alongside the technical video lessons that my online courses are known for, where I go over all the available parameters in the synth, leaving no sonic stone unturned. Along with the course, you also get a sound design sessions section in which I create specific styles of presets like leads, basses, pads, keys, risers, and more, and they're presented as video lessons. While my Ableton courses are much larger in scope, they're much longer and much deeper, I simply couldn't pass up this unique opportunity that this platform offers for learning sound design. So if you're a visual learner or a learn by doing style person, you can opt into this email list up here or down in the description and comments, and they'll shoot you an email when this course becomes publicly available. Great, so there's that. 
But the next reason I'm choosing Pigments as my favorite all-in-one synth plugin is that if you've been following my music, you know that I went down a deep modular rabbit hole. While I still have a system, and I definitely compose and perform with it from time to time, I found that many of the things that I loved about modular had much more to do with the open-ended parameter control you get with manipulating voltage. Now, Pigments has your standard modulators like envelopes and LFOs, but it also has amazing modular-style modulation sources like function generators and random sources like Turing machines. Those, in addition to a really interesting section called Combinate, which is essentially how signals can be combined akin to logic modules in Eurorack. These creative implementations of these modulation sources make working with digital a lot more like working with voltage, allowing you to morph and shape sounds in new and exciting ways. And that leads me to another thing that Pigments does that's actually quite a departure and an improvement from the other do-it-all synths that I mentioned. It has a built-in sequencer. The sequencer arpeggiator section is great on its own, but it also ties into the rest of the synth in some really powerful and interesting ways. It has lots of random and generative features, to the degree that I was so into the sequencer when I first got Pigments that I made a video about it years ago. You can check it out up here if you want. Finally, Pigments has a deeply integrated MIDI system that's simply amazing. You can create MIDI bindings for your MIDI controllers, essentially making it feel like you're using a hardware synth when you interact with it. You can save these MIDI bindings for multiple different controllers. Now these MIDI bindings are totally different than how it normally is in Ableton or other DAWs where you have to MIDI map things in each new tune or each new set that you make. But what really sets Pigment's MIDI system apart when compared to all the other do-it-all synths is its amazing implementation of program change. You can create lists of presets and you can recall every single setting up on the synth instantly. Now, to some of you, this doesn't matter as much, even if it might be a workflow improvement, it doesn't matter as much because you're just working in your studio. But the moment you take your laptop on stage and you play solo or in a band, you instantly get how important it is to have instant access to all the sounds that you need in your set. And this instant access is to everything the synth can do, including its sampling engine. There is simply no other synth that does this to the level that Pigments does, to my knowledge. Now, I think it's really important to reiterate something. You could argue that Ableton's devices can create conceivably any sound in any style with as many effects and modulation sources as you want. Like, you really could, if you absolutely wanted to, set up an Ableton device with 60 LFOs or something, right? But realistically, if you take all of Ableton's devices in suite, you combine them into racks, and you combine them with the wide world of Max for Live, not only is it the best value in synthesis, period, but it's by far the most capable synthesis system in existence, bar none. Ableton Native will always be my main go-to and my main sound design platform. And this is why I'll continue to focus on Ableton here on this channel and continuously add to my already 25 hour plus sound design and synthesis course on Ableton that I offer. But I gotta say that I simply love the self-contained workflow and the presentation of Arturia Pigments. And even more so, I love the educational opportunity that it offers everybody. So again, if you wanna get notified when the Pigments course goes public, hit me with your email down in the description and comments, and I'll let you know. As always, thanks for watching everybody. Much love, I'll see you next time.